Hello everyone, welcome to Tasting with Taylor. I am your host Taylor, doing Tasting with Taylor things for you. Tasting things so you don't have to. Uh, as all, as always, guys. Um, so, um, before I totally start on anything, I got some good news. I think I'm finally getting uh, some shirt companies nailed down. I got two in mind here in town. Two, two in mind, two, two in mind. I have two in mind here in Sioux Falls. Sorry, I'm all sweaty looking. I've been out doing yard work and everything. So, um, I got two. I got. Uh, I talked to Dakota Lettering. I talked to Big Frog. Um, and things are kind of starting to settle by themselves. Um, I uh, am going to make a decision on shirts here in a little bit. Um, I'm thinking probably the next week or two. Um, and when we have this event, I have decided it would be easiest for me and best for you because you're just going to deal with it. <laughs> um, that I'm just going to take pre-orders. So I think I'll have the event. Um, you guys can show up to the event or you can message my Facebook page, what have you. Um, I am not going to ship any shirts at this time. So if I do end up getting shirts, um, I'm sorry. I'm either going to have to meet you somewhere in town. Um, yeah. So I don't know much about shipping. I, one of the company, actually both the companies said that they could ship shirts for me. So I am going to talk to them about that. But as far as the first uh, order of shirts goes, I am going to just take names. I am going to... Take Facebook messages. You guys can come to the event. Let me know your shirt size. I think the shirts are probably going to be about $25 a pop, which isn't too bad. If you look on a lot of different YouTube pages, a lot of YouTube celebrities, stars, uh, charge even $30, $35, $40, or even $45 for just a normal logoed shirt. So I, I, don't, I, I don't know how they're not making money because they're getting shirts cheaper than I am. That's for sure. But anyway, so... That's the dig on that, and it is my goal to have a date picked out for this event by the end of this weekend. So, and it will be in Baltic, just to let everybody know, it will be in Baltic, South Dakota. Um, and I'll have the address up on the event page once I put the event page up. I'm all, I'm all tense talking about this because there's a lot of planning that goes into it. So, I will be taking shirt orders at that event. I will have, I think, anywhere between 15 and 20 different flavors of Mountain Dew at that event. Um, I'm hoping to do, like, yard games, stuff like that. Um, maybe, like, some food quiz. I don't totally know yet. I'm going to plan that on my way to, you know, getting everything wrong. So, anyways, guys, I just want to remind you as well, uh, feel free to go back a couple videos and watch the Dew Typhoon review. Hmm. I still have a lot of it. Matter of fact, I have someone that's going to come over and buy some from me here shortly. Um, if you just want a couple cans, you can definitely buy some from me. Um, other than that, I believe this is still available on the Mountain Dew uh, store, but you have to be a Dew HQ member, which is a free account, so feel free. It is $12 for a six pack, which would come down to $2 a can, and then you have shipping and handling and liquid weights uh, raise shipping pretty quick. So I can't remember how much my shipping was, but. Anyways, in, on the other side of the Mountain Dew universe, we did do a review on the Baja Gold. Um, I do want to let you know, if you guys do happen to see Mango Gem, let me know. It's the brother slash sister of this one. It is going to be an orange packaging, and it seems like it's everywhere else in every other state, but it is not around here. I have not seen it. I've looked for it. I'm not looking terribly hard, but... Just let me know if you see the new Baja flavor Mango Gem, the orange one of this. I'll have to get a code from this. I'll have to get a code, uh, code from Zero. I'll have to get a code from Normal Baja and Mango Gem to enter the sweepstakes for a chance at the Baja Deep Dive, which I'm really hoping I win, but I never win anything, so what do we do? Um, also, I got one of these bad boys yesterday. This is the... Arby's Wagyu Beef Burger. Um, if you guys want to get one, remember this ends July 31st. I think it was like June 1st, 2nd, 3rd, or 4th they started. And I think July 31st this is over. So if you not if you have not had the burger from Arby's, go get it. This is the first burger they have ever done. Um, it's like roughly 10 or 11 bucks. Uh, $7 for the sandwich by itself was actually really cheap for Wagyu beef, but I think it's a blend between Japanese Wagyu and American ground. So 
Either way, two thumbs up from Tasting with Taylor. I loved this. I thought it was really good. I got another one, and this time I got it with lettuce, and I sorely regret that. I, I want to take the lettuce off. I'm not a tomato guy. Lettuce on a burger is okay, but this shredded lettuce bullshit, no. No thanks. Um, also, for those of you who don't know, now that we're on the subject, this is mac and cheese from Arby's, and wow, it's good. It's like Vermont style mac and cheese it's really really good um <laughs> it really is pretty good another one i didn't do a video on which i sorely regret is the uh arby's orange cream shake orange dream orange cream something like that i'm pretty sure it's orange cream but oh my gosh ha oh, 75 thumbs up from tasting with taylor that shake is so good okay now that i have burned up enough time I believe that some of these should be um, cold enough, so I'm gonna grab them out of the freezer. I actually should have gave myself a little more time, but we're gonna we're gonna grab some of these. So I want to wish everybody a very happy Saturday. I spent most of my Saturday talking to t-shirt places and uh, looking at uh, weed whackers. So you know I was fairly busy running around today. Um, so. All right, so I'm actually kind of excited about this. You guys know, you guys know I'm trying to do this without cans falling off. You guys know Simply, don't you? Yeah, like Simply, like Simply Orange, Simply Lemonade. Like this is the stuff in your fridge. Like you, I don't want to say you give this to your kids because that sounds wrong, but um, yeah, it's they're normal, like normal fruit juices, you know? Normal Simply. Like I don't know where this company went off and decided to make a alcohol. I think it's a little odd. But it has calories, and you know what that means. It's probably going to taste good. Um, I did read some of these ingredients. I see all of them have uh, lemon. Yeah, all of them have lemon juice, so they, they are all lemonades, which is good. Produced and bottled for Simply Spiked. Okay. It says produced and bottled for Simply Spiked Co. Huh, so I wonder who brewed it. Yeah, Simply Spiked and Simply Spiked Lemonade are trademarks of Simply Orange Juice Company. Wow. Anyways, um, I'm really excited for these, man. I really am. Um, they all have uh, cane sugar and they have stevia extract. So they should be sweet. So um, uh, I think we're just going to start with it. I'm, look at that, real fruit juice too. I think that's kind of cool. They, they took a whole new turn on this. Real fruit juice, squeezed, then concentrated. Real fruit juice, signature lemonade, with naturally flavored with other natural flavors. So no artificial flavors in here that I can see. Um, yeah, 5% alcohol, that's, that's like a Budweiser, man. That, that's pretty straightforward beer. I mean, stuff like this, you can't really call it a bitch beer, because if this is a bitch beer, then... That means Budweiser's a bitch beer, because they're the same alcohol content. Now, don't get me wrong. This is going to taste good, and Budweiser, too. And Budweiser, too. It tastes like shit. <laughs> For the most part. It depends, because I've had a few that are really good. All right, so I'm going to start off with the most straightforward, Simply Spiked Original Lemonade. Wow. <laughs> wow. Why am I? I'm excited for this. Wow, that smells good. And, um, yeah, looks like lemonade in here. I'm kind of wondering if these other ones have died, so. Simply spiked lemonade, 5% alcohol, real fruit juice. Let's give it a shot. Oh, yeah. That's refreshing. What does that remind me of? Ah. Uh, I want to say almost kind of reminds me of a Mike's Hard Lemonade. Almost. But um, maybe it tastes a little more natural. So, um, Simply Spiked Lemonade. Mmm. Oh, I got a hole in my lip. Um, that's pretty freaking good. I think I drank half the can already. Um... It's a little sour, but it's really well balanced. Um, but it is a little sour. Simply spiked lemonade. Bam!
I'm gonna give that two thumbs up, man. This is good shit. So, hey, buddy, how's it going? Simply spiked uh, signature lemonade, five percent alcohol. Boy, it doesn't taste like it has five percent in it. Mm. That sure goes down really well. That goes down really well. Wow. Holy crap. That is really good. Um. Oh boy, yeah. I think it's best to go on the server. Hey, can you move for a second? My cat wants to get in on the video. He wants to be famous. Like his dad. I'm just kidding. I'm not famous. <laughs> I'm just some old guy that does food reviews. I'm just kidding. Well, not really, because I'm here doing a food review, so technically. Alright, anyways. Ah, simply spiked. A bubble in my throat. Strawberry! The thing I'm so happy with, with this 12-pack of variety-ness, is that they're all good flavors. There's no mango this, there's no honey that, there's just strawberry lemonade, and the other two you can find out here in a little bit. <laughs> so, alright. Simply spiked strawberry lemonade. I keep forgetting it's not just flat out strawberry. It is lemonade. These are all lemonades, which I actually think really helps it. So, is this... I was kind of wondering because this might actually be considered a malt beverage. I kind of wonder because that's the way the Hard Mountain Dew was, is I thought it was going to be a... I thought it was going to be a seltzer. Yeah, it doesn't really say. But I think you would consider this a malt beverage. So it, it's definitely not a seltzer. It is not that carbonated. It's carbonated a little bit. But it's not carbonated a lot. I don't even know if it's carbonated. Hold on for a second. I don't know if that's carbonated at all. Wow, that is smooth, man. Alright. Simply Spiked Strawberry Lemonade. 5% alcohol. Real fruit juice. Let's give it a shot. It has a tinge of red in it. But for the most part, it looks like lemonade. <laughs> wow. Wow, that smells like strawberry, man. That's like some fruit roll-up freaking strawberry right there. Woo! All right. Simply Spiked Strawberry Lemonade. Let's give it a shot. Wow. Okay, that one has a little bit more alcohol to it. Woo! Wow. 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 This tastes a lot more like... There's a lot more alcohol flavor in this one. I will say that. This is simply delicious. Um, the alcohol flavor. <laughs> I'm gonna be straightforward, guys, I, and I think I really should. I should kind of stand by, stand firm by my values. Simply spiked strawberry lemonade. Bam! I'm gonna give it a one thumbs up. But the flavor is a two thumbs up. Don't don't get me wrong. This is like a sneaky number two underneath there. Sne sneaky two thumbs up. I got to give it a one because there's so much alcohol flavor in this, but the strawberry is banging, dude. Wow, that is so easy to drink. This impresses me, but there's just a little bit of alcohol in there. Ugh. Yeah, something about it just doesn't blend very well. So, let's move on to the next one. The next one. Simply Spiked Watermelon Lemonade. Oh man, now we're having fun. I can't wait. 5% uh, alcohol. Uh, 17 grams of added sugar. There's actually quite a bit of sugar in these. Because I think they all should be roughly about the same. Okay, the strawberry is 18. The 18? Yep, 18. Yep, 18 for this. So there's actually less sugars in here. Interesting. Total sugars? Yes. So, this is Simply Spiked Watermelon Lemonade. Let's give it a shot. Fairly clear. So, I don't see any artificial dyes being used in here. 
and there's nothing about it in the ingredients as well. This seems like it's really natural stuff. I mean, you got cane sugar in here, you got stevia extract, natural flavors, like real juice. I mean, wow, this is, this is freaking impressive, man. I don't smell as much of the watermelon as I want it to, but the little bit I do smells really good. So Simply Spiked Watermelon Lemonade. Let's give it a shot. Yum. Yum. Little bit of alcohol at the end of it. Ah, there's something about that lemonade that I just like got rid of that. This is this is good, man. I mean, compared to a lot of seltzers that I, I try on this channel, on this show, on this page, this that tastes freaking good. It tastes natural. Wow. I am really impressed with these. There's a little bit of alcohol at the flavor, or flavor, there's a little bit of alcohol at the back of the flavor of this, but I don't think it bites as much as the strawberry does. So, watermelon lemonade simply spiked 5% alcohol. Bam! If I had five thumbs, I'd give it five thumbs, but I'm giving it two because that's all I got. So, <laughs> anyways, bam, two thumbs, guys. That is awesome. This 12-pack was well worth it, man. $16.49 at Lewis. Oh, I took that one in the shorts. But that's okay, because I do it for you. So, Simply Spiked Blueberry Lemonade. 5% alcohol. 5% 5, 5 alcohol. Uh, 18 grams of sugars. Is it just... Is it just the watermelon at 17? No, that's 18. What was it that was 17? Maybe I'm reading these wrong. Yeah, I'm reading these wrong. These are all 18. Except for that 19 right there. Whatever. Don't don't let, allow me to read labels. So, oh my gosh, I forgot to do our special release. We'll do that at the end. Okay. Simply, I was I was too excited for the Simply's. Simply Spiked Blueberry Lemonade. Let's give it a shot. These are refreshing, man. These are, these are going to be great this summer. Fantastic this summer. But, mind you, with all the sugar, you might get a little... Tell me eight. At night or in the morning or something like that. So. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! This one's got some color. Okay. Oh, that's not I'm not smelling as much blueberry as I thought. Alright, well, simply spiked. Blueberry lemonade. Let's give it a shot. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that is pretty tart. That was really tart. That first drink was really tart, dude. Whoa! They should almost call this like a sour blueberry. You know what? If they did like... 4.8 or 4.5% alcohol, you could drink these like fucking Capri Suns, man. Mmm. Blueberry lemonade, surprisingly, I thought was going to be my favorite. However, God, it's still really good, though. This is still really good. I could knock these back pretty fast. Um, yeah, it tastes like you're drinking like a... I wouldn't even say soda. I'd say like a... A Minute made with alcohol in it, maybe? Simply Spiked Blueberry Lemonade. Um, uh, I'm going to give that a one thumbs up. I have to give it a one thumbs up. The alcohol and the tartness like really threw me off. I didn't think it'd be like, it's all like, uh, you know, it's like kind of sour and a little tart. Mm. These are really good though. These are awesome. I'm really, really impressed with these. So, for those of you that live nearby, go to your local... I know there's a couple places I found it, but... Lewis, for sure. Lewis on 41st, Lewis on 12th and Kiwanis. They have this right now for $16.49. Um, these are really good. So, if you're thinking about picking up some shit seltzers, think again. You can buy some Simply instead. And then buy you some OJ for the next morning when you need to recover. <laughs> so, anyways, I have one more to do. 
This I got online. Um, hopefully I can taste it after all that lemonade. Um, Jones every once in a while comes out with special releases. And um, I got one. Why pineapple, you ask? It was the and cream. The cream soda part that got me. And I was telling my buddy that today. I was like, man, pineapple's one thing, but and cream, yum. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, that smells good. Okay. Jones special release. I bought this online. It's probably sold out by now, but I will have it at the Tasting with Taylor event, so feel free to show up and try you some pineapple cream soda. Jones special release pineapple cream soda. Let's give it a shot. Wow. That's something else, man. That is something else. Mmm. It is it's more of a soft drink. Wow, that's pretty smooth, actually. Um, the pineapple is really sweet, and there's just like a cream soda flavor after. It's actually pretty good. I'm not a big pineapple fan, but I gotta say that's that's pretty good. And as you know, Jones are a lot more natural. Cane sugar. Yeah, there's no high fructose corn syrup in here at all. So, Jones Special Release Pineapple Cream Soda. I'm not going to lie, if you're a pineapple fan, bam. I'm going to give that two thumbs up because that is a whole nother experience. I kind of expected it to be a little bit more like pineapple juice, but it's actually literally like a pineapple soda with like cream soda added to it. That's smooth. If you like pineapple, that is one smooth drink right there. So, um, that is all I have for today, guys. I have like, make sure you're always following the Tasting with Taylor Snapchat, um, the TikTok thing, I, I'm so bad at it, but the TikTok thing I'll, I'll keep trying, but the Taste with Taylor Snapchat, um, you'll get a lot more of the inside scoop of what's going on. Um, I usually post stuff that I see at the stores. I also post some of the products that I do ahead of time. Um, so, uh, da, 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 what was I thinking? Yeah, I had posted just a couple of days ago on the uh, Snapchat feed story that I have like four or five boxes of cereal to do. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that tomorrow morning or maybe sometime this week. I don't know. But they're like four or five different flavors of one cereal, and I've never heard of any of them. Well, okay, maybe one or two, but I never tried them. So, anyways, guys, always be sure to like this video, share this video, and subscribe for live notifications. Tell every but we, every but we, <laughs> that is not the first time I've done that. That is not the first time I've done that. Tell everybody what we do here at Tasting with Taylor. Um, I also, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you weren't here before, I plan on having a date for the event by the end of this weekend. I will make an event page for that. I will promote the crap out of it. And hopefully by a certain point, I will have a t-shirt vendor picked and I will be taking shirt orders at that time. Pinch, pinch. Um, so... Once I take shirt orders, I'll be taking them at the event. I don't know if I'm going to be shipping them nationally yet, but I am going to do them locally. So let me know. Uh, show up at the event, message me, and tell me if you want a shirt. I will get a mock-up of the shirt put on the page so you know what they're going to look like. Um, and at this point, we're going to stick with one design, one shirt, one this, one that, one the other thing. We're going to do one thing, and I am going to see how it works. I'm going to study it. And we're going to go from there. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been your latest edition of Facing with Taylor. Thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We will see you in the next one.